Hey guys, what's going on today? We're gonna show you how you can boost your FPS in CSGO. I will go through all of my settings and explain everything along the way and we're gonna run two tests. One without any launch options and any, and any configuration at all and the second is gonna be optimized and you'll see how much FPS I gain. But first let me so show you my specifications. Uh, right now, this is what I have to point out is uh, I'm running, as you see, an older version processor, which is uh, 4690K i5, and I have it overclocked to 4.1. This means uh, I have no speed step or anything like that available while the clock would actually drop, um, because I had that problem that during playing CSGO, my speed would like drop down, you know, and that resulted into FPS drops as well. So I overclocked it, it's now running at 4.1 all the time, and that's pretty much it. I have the GTX 770, if anyone wonders. Here, let me show you. I have absolutely no launch options right now in CSGO. Okay, so let's show you my video settings real quick. I'm playing on 4x3 stretch. 1280 by 960 full screen and I have basically you can copy this I have everything on low those are basic video settings um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run a test you know an FPS test an FPS benchmark and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch to my camera because I'm gonna turn off my recording software so you know we don't get any distractions or any FPS drops because of the recording software running okay so we are on a camera now I'm gonna add this uh, map the link to this map down in the description below if you want to check it yourself we're not gonna change anything any settings in this map we're just gonna go here and press start. So I will uh, I will skip this, guys. I will just fast forward this so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so we are done with the test. And as you can see, an average frame rate is 283. And I'm gonna show you what you have to do and we will run the test again. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is add some launch options. Um, I'm gonna post those down below or I'm gonna include it in a file. I don't know yet Anyways, you have to copy that um, And you see where I just went right so you you go in the CSGO in your steam uh, right click Properties and you go set launch options and you just copy all of that in Okay You copy all of that in and you just press ok and that's gonna be that and next thing we have to do is we're gonna go and add an auto executable file you know and how we're gonna do that is you have to locate your steam install folder so how you do that is you go to settings and you go to downloads and steam library folders and you see that your steam is installed in my case on c right so we go to disk c program files and we search steam and then we have to go to user data and here is those are your accounts i have no idea why i have two but uh, anyways i have csgo on only one csgo is listed under i'm sorry csgo is listed under 730 okay so you're gonna open your account 730 and you're gonna go to local cfg and here you're gonna add a cfg auto executable file no that's my that's something else you're gonna add this one i'm gonna add a link to it in the description below so we're gonna add that okay and then we're gonna close down and we're gonna close down everything and now we're gonna launch csgo again i'm gonna switch to back to my camera so you know the OBS isn't disturbing anything or anyone let's go okay so we are in the map once again and we're gonna start it and I'm gonna show you at the end what we get as the average FPS okay so in this test map I gain as you can see around 30 FPS but in game it shows a little bit more you know there is um, there is a bigger difference in game than in this actual FPS benchmark, but you can still see that we got around 30 more, which is like if we get a 300 FPS average, that's 
that's that's pretty good for my system configuration i think you know there is a lot more you can do there is a lot more commands that you can add there is a lot more settings you can change but this is what i'm comfortable with this is where i found a sweet spot without having to make a lot of sacrifices and things like that um it's all about having a stable, you know, high FPS. That's that's the thing that I'm going for. Right now I have a 240 hertz monitor, so for me it's important that I get as much FPS as possible and then I get it and that I get it stable, you know? Of course the FPS will increase by a different amount depending on your system, you know? So this is like, this is might be 30 for me, for you it might be 100. For someone it might be 20 i don't know it's like it's it really depends on your system so try it yourself see how it works see uh if it makes any difference and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching hope this video was helpful for you if it was leave a like and a comment down below and i will see you all in the next one bye bye